All right, let's talk about the basic five paragraph essay. This is one of the most common foundational types of essays that you can learn how to write. And it takes in uh, what we've already learned about our perfect paragraphs. Um, a five paragraph essay um, has a beginning, middle, and end, just like our perfect paragraphs do. It consists of introduction paragraph at the beginning, three body paragraphs, which follow the same format that our perfect paragraphs do, and a conclusion paragraph at the end. And what you're looking at now is an outline and an example of this basic essay. So let's take a look at the introduction first. Um, our introduction paragraph has three parts to it. An attention getter, a link or a bridge that kind of goes in the middle as background information, and it ends with something called a three-point thesis statement, and that's going to be one sentence. That one sentence is the main idea of your entire essay. Just like a topic sentence is the main idea of a single paragraph, the thesis statement is the main idea of the entire essay. Your thesis statement is going to have two parts to it. It's going to have your stance, which is the statement that you're making in your essay, but it's also going to have a blueprint or a preview of what's going to be coming in the rest of the essay. It's going to give us kind of the outline structure of what the rest of the essay is going to be about. So let's take a look at the introduction paragraph in this sample here. Um, our essay title is Cats Make Excellent House Pets. And the first paragraph reads, A dog is a man's best friend. That common saying may contain some truth, but dogs are not the only animal friend whose companionship people enjoy. For many people, a cat is their best friend. Despite what dog lovers may believe, Cats make excellent house pets because they are good companions, they are civilized members of the household, and they're easy to care for. So let's look at how this matches up with this outline structure that we have here. First, let's look for the three-point thesis, because that's our main idea. You're going to find that in the last sentence of the paragraph. Despite what dog lovers may believe, cats make excellent house pets because they're good companions, etc. And we look at the two parts here. Cats make excellent house pets is our stance. And our blueprint, or our three points that we're going to talk about in this essay are they're good companions, they're civilized members of the household, and they're easy to care for. As far as the rest of the paragraph goes, we have an attention getter at the beginning, a dog is a man's best friend. And then we have this couple sentences in between, and that's our link or our bridge or a transition that ties this attention getter to the thesis statement. It's where your background information goes. If you're writing about a book, you're going to talk about the author and the plot and uh, the, the title of it and things like that. It's what binds it all together. Otherwise, it's really clunky. So that's a really important thing to have there. So those are our three parts. Um, after that, we can see we have three body paragraphs. The body paragraphs are formatted just like your um, perfect paragraph, so I'm not going to go through sentence by sentence these, but there are a couple things to look for. First of all, you'll notice that each of these three body paragraphs starts the transition. In the first place, not only are they good companions, and lastly. So each of your body paragraphs must start with a transition. And then we know in our perfect paragraph structure that you have a transition before each general statement within each body paragraph as well. So your essay should be full of transition statements to make it flow very smoothly. Another thing to note is that in our thesis statement, um, cats make excellent house pants because they're good companions. Because this is our first point list in our thesis statement, that's what our first body paragraph's about. They're good companions, people enjoy the companionship of them. So this next point, they are civilized members of the household, that's what our second body paragraph is going to be about. Not only are they good companions, but cats are also civilized members of the household. And then our third point, they're easy to care for. Same thing down here. They're ease of care. So it's going to go in the same order. So your thesis statement, which is one sentence that lists the three points you're going to be talking about, you're going to develop those into three separate paragraphs. Notice in our outline that it follows that same paragraph structure that we've been talking about. A topic sentence, a general statement with a transition and two specific examples, general statement with supporting sentences, general statement with supporting sentences. Um, it's a good idea to also have that conclusion sentence at the end, but it kind of depends on how you do your transition for the next one. So there's a little bit of wiggle room there, but at minimum, these should be 10-sentence body paragraphs. 
And then we come to the end. Your conclusion is usually pretty simple, but it needs to be more than a sentence or two. Your conclusion paragraph has two main parts to it. First, you need to restate the thesis statement in completely new words and summarize what your main arguments are. You can do this in one sentence, you can do it in multiple sentences, but you need to just repeat some of the things that you've said in new words, not the exact same stuff. And then you need what's called a clincher at the end. The clincher is kind of like the opposite of the attention getter. If the attention getter's purpose is to grab the audience's attention and draw them into your paper, the clincher is something that needs to leave them with a good impression and make them think. This isn't the best one, but in many ways, cats are the ideal house pet. Finalizes what we're talking about. So let's look at this conclusion paragraph. It's easy to see that cats are low-maintenance, civilized companions. People who have small living quarters or less time for pet care should appreciate these characteristics of cats. However, many people who have plenty of space and time still opt to have a cat because they love the cat personality. In many ways, they're the ideal house pet. So we have that clincher at the end here. And then notice that this is saying a lot of the same things that we said in these body paragraphs, but we're not just repeating ourselves. We're using new words, different sentence structure, and that sort of thing to wrap things up and bring it all to a conclusion. So that's this example. Let's look at one more example. All right, this is laid out in MLA format, and I have some things highlighted. You have access to this document in uh, Schoology. All right, so this is on a different topic. This is a topic of the person I most admire, and this is actually a paper I wrote way back when I was a sophomore in high school. So you can see I started out with an attention getter. Have you ever known someone who made you a better person by the example that they set? And this intro paragraph ends with a thesis statement, which I've highlighted. Although she has many fine qualities, those I admire the most are her kindness, her leadership, and her wonderful personality. So that's my three-point thesis statement. I have stated um, you know, the fact that I admire her. That's my stance here. And I've given three points, her kindness, her leadership, and her wonderful personality as my preview of what's going to be coming up in the rest of the paragraph. And then in my link and bridge, I've got um, you know, just some information so you know what this essay is going to be about. It wouldn't make sense if I said, have you ever known someone who made you a better person by the example that they set? Although she has many fine qualities, those I admire most are this. So we need to know some, some of the background information, and that's what I have here. More than anyone else I know, I look up to my friend Amanda Lewis. Amanda is always willing to listen to my problems and offer advice and comfort. She can make me smile without fail, no matter how upset I may be. Just a little bit of a background into my relationship with her. So that's my introduction. Then we have body paragraphs. I said the first thing I admired about her was her kindness. So we have caring, kindness, those are synonyms. And you notice that this matches up with that one. Then you can see highlighted, I've got my three general statements and supporting sentences. We don't need to go through and read it word for word, but we can see that all the points are there, including my transitions at the beginning of my general statements. We move down to the next body paragraph. Another admiral tra trait is how active she is in her school. That matches up with the second point of my thesis statement. And notice there's a transition here at the beginning, another we also have, we can see, three general statements there with transitions to start each of them and supporting sentences after each with specific examples. Final body paragraph is set up the same way. Her personality is one of the most unique things about her, matches up with a third point in my thesis statement. And again, I've got three general statements with transitions and lots of examples. It is okay to have more than two sentences of support after a general statement, but be careful how long you're getting. If you're adding four or five sentences of support after every general statement, your paragraphs are getting way too long. And then my conclusion. Notice I started with a transition, and I said I have deep respect for my Amanda from the way she treats others to the way she treats herself. I genuinely believe that I'm a nicer, happier person just by knowing this outstanding young woman, and I will truly miss seeing her smiley face every day after she leaves her college. Some closing thoughts about my feelings towards her. So that is our perfectly structured five paragraph essay that's the foundation for the other types of essays that you'll be writing.
If you have any questions over the five paragraph essay structure, please let me know and you have other files and activities that will help you explore the different parts of it as you go.